things grow. All living things grow in shape and size. The weight and height of living things increase as they grow. Let's do an activity to see the growth in plants. Put a few bean seeds on a bed of cotton wool. Make sure that the cotton is damp at all times, but do not overwater. Keep it on a window sill without covering it. After a week, you will observe that the bean seeds have sprouted and the bean plant grows. A balloon also grows in size when we blow air into it. Is that growth? Blow into a balloon, then let the air out of it. What happens to the size of the balloon? The size of the balloon increases when we blow air into it, but its size decreases again when we let the air out. Hence, this is not growth. Non-living things do not grow. Living things can move from place to place. Living things can move from one place to another. Plants are fixed to one place. But there are some gentle movements in plants. A bud turns into a flower as its petals open slowly. The stem moves upwards and the roots move downward. Non-living things do not move by themselves. They need to be moved by a living thing. Living things have feelings. Living things react to things that happen to them. They also respond to their surroundings. If your team loses a football game, you feel hurt at the time. You feel happy when you get good marks in a test. Animals and birds also react to things around them. A scientist, Dr. J. C. Bose, had discovered that plants have feelings. They also react to music. Let's do an activity. Touch the leaves of a touch-me-not plant. When you touch the leaves of a touch-me-not plant, its leaves fold inwards and droop. This shows that the touch-me-not plant reacts when touched. Non-living things do not have feelings.